may select to restore an image to a disk or partition in one of two ways. In the menu bar, you may select Tools, Image to Disk, or you may select Image to Disk within Disk Operations. The first window is informational and may be turned off. Select Next. The first thing you must do is find your image. Select Browse and Guide to your image location. It will be a .adi file, a .dim, or a .iso. Click OK. This disk image is password protected. Type in the password and click OK. If you did not select a password when creating the image, you will not be asked for a password here. In this list of drives and partitions, you select the image or images you wish to restore. In this window, you will see the name of the disk or partition, the flags, primary and active, the capacity of that drive or partition, how much space is used, and other information. Now we carefully select the drive or partition that will be overwritten with our backup image. Next. Now we select our partition type. A hard disk can only have one active partition. As an active partition, it is automatically set as primary as well. If the selected disk image is a bootable partition, you must choose active in order to allow the system to boot from it. In the destination partition type, you can now select not only partition type, but also a partitioning scheme, which can be one of the following. Master Boot Record, GPT, which is a standard implementation of the GPT partition scheme. If you have a Mac disk partitioned with GPT, which is dual booted, use Mac OS style GPT for compatibility and select Next. The two calculated values on this page show the minimum and maximum size that a new partition may occupy. The maximum size corresponds to the size of the partition or unallocated space you have chosen as the target. The minimum size is determined by the amount of space used in the disk image of the source partition. You may change not only the size, but also the position of the new partition by providing values for free space before and free space after. The sum of all three fields must equal the maximum size of the partition. Once you have selected these numbers, click Next. To assign a new drive letter to the new partition, select a letter from the drop-down box. This box will only show available letters. Click Next. And at this point you may decide to restore another partition or proceed with the current one. You have a final confirmation window giving you the list of where the file is coming from and the destination of the file, including the disk, file system, size, and assigned letter. If you are positive that everything is correct, click Next. And this process may take varying amounts of time according to how much data there is to be restored. And in your verification window, click Finish. And you will find your files have been restored to the selected drive or partition. That is how you restore an image to a disk in Active Disk Image.